One of the first things you can do to help you better understand scripture, and this, you may have heard this, you may have not, and it is so underrated, is to pray right before you read. Pray something like, this is something I personally pray. Father, I just pray that you will open my eyes to see in the spirit, that you'll open my ears to hear in the spirit, and that you open my heart to receive. You're opening yourself up to the spirit. You're opening yourself up to the spirit to reveal it to you, because you got to remember, this is a complex book. This is not just a man-made book. This was inspired by God. He used men, yes, but it's inspired by God. And so praying that prayer or any prayer like that um, can really help you just to understand and not just be seeing through the flesh, but be seeing through the spirit. Number two, do not try to read 15 chapters at once. It is a supernatural book. It is not an ordinary book. So just read maybe one to three chapters a day. I mean, if you're if you feel led to read more then praise God. You should eventually, of course, read the whole the whole Bible. It is an amazing book. But just just truly read one to three chapters a day and let yourself just really take it in. Which leads me to number three. It ties into the last part about not overtaking it in. Is to take it in. Let yourself go slow. Digest what it is saying. Don't try to rush through it. Just like any good conversation, you don't want to rush a good conversation. You don't want to rush a good book. This is, this is the best book that you can ever read. And so truly just take your time when you are reading. Don't say, you know, this, 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 this. No, say, God, pray about it. Read one to three chapters. Don't overdo it. And then take your time. It is okay. Don't feel like you have to read this met this much and have to go this fast take your time stay in the presence of god you'll be happy that you did number four the bible says that we know in part and that we prophesy in part that means you are not going to understand everything on your own we only get bits and pieces so do not be ashamed to go and ask someone what something means I, when I first became a believer, I would ask a lot of spiritual mentors what something meant because God gives us all little nuggets of, of wisdom, of, of um, just revelation. And so don't think that, you that oh, you don't understand what something means. Don't be afraid. Don't let the enemy say, oh, you don't understand what this means. So, oh, maybe you're not saved or maybe you're not uh, going down the right path. No, that's okay. We need each other. God does things on purpose. We, he created us. To fellowship he created us to need each other and so and so don't be afraid to just ask someone what something means and to guide you through that uh, someone that is truly a believer because you do not want someone who is um, gonna you know say that something means something when it doesn't but truly just just um, let yourself be humble say hey I don't know everything trust God and ask others. Last but definitely not least is to go beyond just reading the scripture, but actually study it. You know, look it up, look at the time, the place, the setting, you know, who wrote who wrote that book because there's 66 books in this in the Bible. And so look up the, the setting, you know, who was it written to? Why was it written? And all of those things, all of those factors can help you better understand what you are reading because the Bible is so complex and do not be afraid to ask the Holy Spirit for guidance and wisdom. We need him to help us through this. And so truly just go beyond reading it. Reading words is great, but when you're like in college or in high school, when you are studying something, when you are reading a book, they usually have you study more into it. You know, what, what was the plot? What was the theme? What was this? And so it makes you look deeper into it and that's what God wants he wants you to be so hungry that you are just going to go beyond reading but you are actually going to go out and study scripture for yourself that's a good way to not just take people's word for it but that you can be confident in your own faith I don't say these things blindly I don't say these things just to say them but I have put these into practice in my own life and I've seen my relationship with God these past five years of being saved just come uh, tremendously grow and so I just pray that you will um, just take these take these tips and just truly put them into practice and just pray to God about what else you know you could do and if there's anything else um, any more questions that you may have I just pray that you can put them in the comments if you want to you can like and subscribe just so other people can be blessed by this video and share um, let me just pray for you really quick and father God I just pray that in Jesus name that whoever 
is watching this right now, Lord, that they will be blessed by this video, Lord God, that your spirit will just be upon them and bless them, Lord, and just that their hunger for you will continue to grow and that they will just continue to seek you in your word and in prayer, Father God, and that they will just know that you love them so much, Lord, and that it is okay not to always um, feel like they're doing everything, you know, perfectly right, Father God, but that your grace extends, Father God, no matter what, that you are with them no matter what stage they are in, in this walk with you, Lord God. And so I just thank you for that. And I just pray that um, you will be with them. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.